is one way that we're trying to tackle some of the, the need to, to fill some of the gaps. Um, the overall aim of this was so after all, there were three aims to so increase collaboration among the stakeholders of the justice system and other other um, sectors of society that have a role to play in forensics. Um, the second role was uh, or the second aim was to increase or provide some specialized training or presentations on priority areas, not all areas, priority areas for the department. And the third aim was to provide some outreach to the general public, particularly the university level students, because we want to start to nurture that future generation of professionals that will either enter the justice system as forensic scientists or prosecutors or investigators. No? Um, so the priority areas that we focus on this year, because it's the first annual event, we um, selected forensic pathology and DNA evidence to be two of the areas where we invited expert presenters from outside the country, from Canada, from Washington DC and from St. Lucia to give talks, focus talks on those topics. It was about almost 50 individuals talking about those priority areas that I mentioned, talking about other areas such as quality assurance, such as the impact of forensic science on the criminal justice system. We did some case reviews, the, the DPP's office presented some case reviews on the impact um, in their case, in the outcomes of their case um, due to the sound evidence management and, and forensic analysis. We also touched on some topics about um, developing the country's capacity or developing a, a department's capacity to respond to mass fatality disasters. We also talked about deaths in police custody. Um, we talked about decomposed remains, the body after death, how to handle a post-mortem examination of decomposed remains. So several very, very relevant topics um, that we needed to get together. I'm not speaking about the cost of construction of a lab. Mm -hmm. So we're just talking about equipment and consumables, paying people, all of that. Um, we're looking at a cost of at least 300,000 US dollars to start up. And then at least if it depends on what, what tests that you decide to run, you can have from 55,000 US dollars all the way up to 100,000 for a year. To, but that, that again depends on what your methods are and what structure that you decide to, to have within your lab. Forensic science is, it's an expensive. Um, as Ms. Quinlan has said, you know, running a DNA lab is expensive. Uh, and many of the Caribbean uh, governments have economic constraints. Despite Yui Mona being the uh, only institution that offers postgraduate training in anatomical pathology for doctors in the Caribbean since 1974, there hasn't been an established subspecialty training program for forensic pathology in the region. So many of the island territories do not have a qualified forensic pathologist doing medical legal autopsies. And over the last two days, we have um, been speaking as about what are the potentials for miscarriages of justice when you have unqualified uh, persons, persons who are not even pathologists sometimes, doing your medical legal post-mortem examinations.